Hey everybody, Galusia here, and today I'm bringing you another viewer challenge. Today brought to you by Sky, longtime viewer of the channel, and uh, someone that was a moderator for uh, Twitch back when I used to live stream on Twitch. So it's good to see him coming out. Ooh, look at this guy's intestines. Disgusting. So his challenge that is uh, based on an older challenge that we had back in the day, the box challenge, or the mystery box challenge, if you will. And the gist of it is that you can only use weapons from the box that you can't use any wall weapons, which in the original Call of Duty uh, zombies, like that wouldn't have been as much of a challenge. But if I remember correctly, um, you had to use whatever you got, first of all. So if you got something ridiculous that was like worthless, like, oh, well, and... Um, I believe that I was, like, forced to buy a new weapon every so often. Like, I couldn't keep the same one. So, basically, it would be really difficult to, like, pack a punch it or whatever. So, really quick, I'm pausing this just so we can go over the new rules of what he's laid out. Uh, so, he said, to start out, you can use your knife or fists, but you can't shoot anything until you get a box weapon. Now, for that, because the knife is actually pretty powerful in the early game... Um, I am going to use the knife just to get all the doors open and stuff, but once I get to the mystery box, I'm never going to use the knife again. I'm just going to use it to get to where the mystery box is, to get enough points to get there. Okay, so here's the cans and cans. He says, like, I can buy perks, I can pack a punch once until I get a legendary tier on the weapon, and then I can do it all three times. So, that's actually... Usually I can pack a punch stuff quicker than I can get all the way up to legendary on the tiers. Unless I get lucky and the weapon that comes out is already pretty high tier. Um, he says I can use ammo boxes that I can craft or pick up anything that I want. But I can only use a score streak once. So one chopper gunner, like one war machine. Um, says I can use my specialist ability. And he said I can do, I can get the weapon out of the Easter egg because it comes out of a box. So, basically, I'm going to have one weapon that has to come from the mystery box that I have to use. And then I can actually get a weapon from doing the Easter egg challenge thing and, and you know, the zombie dance party. Um, I can't use wall weapons. I can't shoot anything until I get a box weapon. Um, he says, I can't tear up a weapon myself. Oh, so I can't actually level the weapon... So I can only pack a punch it once, but the only way that I can pack a punch it more than once is if I'm lucky enough to get a legendary from the box. Like if I replace the box weapon with another box weapon. Oh man, okay, that does make it a little bit more challenging. It says if you use the Easter egg weapon, you can't drop that because it came from a different box. So that means you have one more than those. Okay. So if I do the Easter egg thing, then I have to keep that. I can't, I'm not allowed to drop it. But then my other weapon, I can replace from time to time by, you know, repurchasing from the, the box. So picking up the stuff, like the junk and whatnot, I guess is pretty much only useful for making armor and then crafting some... It's not going to be nearly as useful as it normally is because... Of how the rules have changed. Okay, I'm purposefully staying in here because I want them to destroy some barricades because I need to get as much money as I can. I decided that because the mystery box is... Ooh, double points. This is super helpful. Because the mystery box is in an, an area that I don't like to go to until I already have... Uh, the power on because I don't like opening up that door there. This this starting area in terms of like kiting in a circle is a lot better to do if uh, I don't have to deal with that door being open. Same with the area on the other side where the box is at. That area is nicer if that door is not open. So I'm going to add to this challenge and go melee only until I can get the power on. You know what else, actually? Usually, like, it's going to be kind of difficult to do the Easter egg, like, in the appropriate time. Because I don't have a gun in the beginning, so I can't do the zombie dance party because I can't shoot the lights. 
Now, there's another challenge that's basically the opposite of this, which is wall weapons only. And in the older zombies, that was actually pretty challenging because typically the, the wall weapons weren't always, like, the greatest. You know what I mean? Usually, like, the mystery box was going to get you, you know, like, better better options. But in this, like, there's some really great options right off the wall. You know, like, the the shotgun options that are available on the wall. The, um... This sniper rifle, believe it or not, I don't know if you guys have tried it, but because it's purple, like, right out of the gate, like, it's actually pretty incredible. Like, it works really good. Um... Oops. Okay, I have enough to hit the box one. So I know he sent me a message about another rule, and I agree. Um, if I buy something from the mystery box, even if I technically have enough money to like replace it, meaning I buy something and I'm like, oh, I'm not using this piece of crap, and I want to buy something else, I have to kill at least some zombies with it before I can switch. Like even if it's just one zombie, like I have to shoot and kill something before I'm allowed to switch. I can't just immediately drop whatever it is. Okay, looks like we're using the XM4 and also that I'm almost dead just from trying to pick this up. Cool. Uh, XM4 is not terrible. It's only tier 2. So that's not going to be great. But it is early. It's early in the game. So, I mean, that's going to happen. You know? Let's try to get the... This is pretty late. Usually, uh, you would already have the zombie dance party done by now. Let's try to get that done as fast as possible so that we can get a secondary weapon because i'm not by my own rules this wasn't his rule but by my own rules once i got once i got my hands on a gun uh, oh shit i haven't even gone through the portal yet wow yeah this actually is we are really far behind for that uh but yeah by my own rules i'm not so oh shit Ooh, that's helpful oh i'm gonna die okay uh by my own rules, I'm only supposed to be killing zombies by the gun now that I've gotten the gun. You know what I mean? So no more knife. So I really want to try to get another weapon. I'm going to say that I also shouldn't like use the melee even when I'm holding the gun because it replaces it with the Bowie knife. Which is a one shot until round 11. So honestly, like I feel like that makes it too easy. Scale pointed something out to me the other day. Once you level up stuff with your perks, like, I don't have everything unlocked yet, but I have almost everything unlocked. Like, I have all the perks unlocked. I have some of the weapon mods. I have most of the weapon classes unlocked to Tier 3. Um, you know, I, I've gotten, you know, like I said, most of it done. Um, some challenges are way easier because because of that which you know to a certain degree it should be but um i feel like for some of the challenges you know he said and i agree it would be nice if we could like reset the the points if you will so that you don't have all those advantages um but we can't so just like all the challenges are just easier from this point forward because of that. Oh, did I mail him? No, I didn't. Okay. Whew. It's like force of habit. I was like, I hit the melee button, but I think because I was reloading, it didn't do it. <laughs> this is what I do now during the zombie dance party. I like to fix the barricades, especially because when they're done dancing, you know, you have to wait at least a few seconds before you open the box. And then you have to, you know, take a few seconds to pick everything up. And so zombies are spawning in all around you while that's happening. And at least if I fix these barricades, there's that much less, you know, in terms of zombies spawning in, number one. And then number two, um, it means that, uh, 
I got that many more points, you know what I mean? It's just like a free time to just run around and open stuff. Okay, so we got a blue M60. Now, he did say that I can't... He said that I can't upgrade... I can't upgrade the... Box weapon. That I just need to get lucky enough to get a legendary. And that I'm not allowed to level it... Unless I have a legendary, that I can't level it past... Level... Uh, the first level on the, on the Pack-a-Punch. I think luck of the draw, because the zombie dance party didn't give me a legendary item. I mean, because it could have dropped, you know, like a, a ray gun. Like, there's always a chance, right? But it didn't. My secondary gun being the M60, like, it, it's just going to have to be what it is, right? Like, it's as good as it's going to get. I'm not going to get better. And I'm not allowed to replace it, right? I can replace the uh, XM4. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to I'm going to keep the XM4 for a while but since the M60 I'm not allowed to drop I actually think that's going to be the first one that I pack a punch I think I'm going to try to make it to like round like 10 or uh, not 10 like round 15 or so and then hit the mystery box again and hopefully I get you know a higher tier item than the XM4 is, because, yeah, it's being just a tier 2, like, that's not gonna, it's not gonna get it done. It's actually not a bad M60. Like, it's got a silencer on it, which gives me an increase to equipment drops, and it has the 100 round mag. Yeah, anytime you have a small mag like this, Especially on something fully automatic, and especially especially on something that's fully automatic and pretty weak at this stage in the game. Not very effective. I mean, it's fast mags, <laughs> which I guess helps a little bit, but... Yeah, it's not the best. Just doing a lot of damage and not a lot of killing. God, this thing is, like, not killing anything. <laughs> May as well use it, though. I think I'm going to end up having to replace it, though, because it's pretty much worthless. I really wanted to wait till round 15, though, because I was hoping to get something better, you know? I mean, I could use my LMG, but then I'm limiting myself. I'm going to go over to the other area, because at some point in the very near future, I feel like I need to get another weapon but i also want to get the quick revive just to have faster healing because in that round i almost died once or twice and i feel like that would not have been the case had i had quick revive need a little revive i will say that i'm really enjoying the 200 round magazine that i have on this weapon it's pretty helpful could also get my third tier of armor, which would be a good idea. All right, mystery box, let's do this. Oh boy, Real heavy hitter. type sixty-three. Okay, <laughs> at least it's blue. It's not green. That's better, right? Okay. Well, I have to kill something before I can switch it out. There we go. All right. Ooh, I just thought of a new challenge. Okay, so if it's a gun that I've never used... Well, I've used the Type 63 a little bit, but I just thought of a new part of the challenge. I know it's like mid-game, but let's take this up a notch. Let's make this more difficult. When I get a weapon from... The mystery box. Rather than, like, you know, like he said, uh, Sky, the person that submitted the challenge. 
He said that I would have to kill a zombie with the gun before I could switch it out again. If I get a gun that I don't like, which this is a prime example. I don't want to use a Type 63 right now, okay? But, what if instead of having to kill a zombie... Because that's easy enough. You can kill a zombie with literally anything. What if instead of having to kill a zombie with it, I have to level the gun at least once? Like, I have to... Or get a camo. Or get a camo. I have to unlock something for the gun. Because I don't think I've really ever used... I've used the Type 63 a little bit in multiplayer. But not much, right? So, it, it should be more or less like a... Uh, a pretty, you know, virgin gun where it, it you know, is, it's probably only like level one, level two, level three, like somewhere in the earlier level. So I have to, I have to either unlock a camo or level the gun before I'm allowed to replace it. I like that a lot more. That makes it more challenging because I, I, I mean, it's a challenge, right? It should be challenging. That's the whole point. God, I literally didn't kill anything there. Nothing died. I only have 16 bullets left. There's two bullets left. There you go. Okay. So I can't... I'm going to have to get ammo for it or I won't be able to switch it out. Simple as that. God, look how much quicker things die when I switch to this gun. Holy shit. Okay, I'm just going to get that. And just say to hell with it because I want to... Well, let's do Semtex. There's a fair amount of those on the ground. I'm going to pick all this crap up. So I'm going to have to buy ammo for this because I need to, I don't... Th I mean, unless I missed it, which that's my that's my bad. If I missed it and you guys see it, you know, when you're watching it, like, that's my bad for missing it. I don't think I've leveled this or gotten any camo for it yet. I may have gotten a camo, but I might be thinking about the XM4 because I know I got a camo for that. Plus, this, game, this gun does no damage, right? At, at least at this level. So, I need to get critical shots anyway. So, I'm bound to get a critical kill camo at some point. Or, unless the unless the gun is level 1 and it's not unlocked. In which case, I'm going to have to kill a lot of zombies to just get a kill camo. So, hopefully it levels up soon. Yeah, there we go. Wow, it literally was level one. Holy crap, it took that long to just get it to level two. Holy shizzle. Okay, well, we did it, folks. Golly, it really does take a while to level guns in zombies. It's really unfortunate. I know they've been going back and forth a lot lately with weapon leveling in zombies. They keep making changes to it. Um, they increased it. They increased it too much. They decreased it. It bugged out. Like, oh my god. Okay, I'll take a free chopper. Well, it wasn't free. It cost me nine fifty. But I guess you know, whatever. There's my one chopper gunner for the game. Hey, it's a green nineteen eleven. Let me tell you why this is a problem. Based on the existing rules of this game, uh, that I have set forth. I already have the 1911 almost maxed out in level, and I have almost all the camo unlocked for it. Getting in another camo or a level for it is going to be next to impossible. Like, like dead ass. Like, I don't, I don't know if I can do it. Like, I'm obviously gonna have to pack a punch this just to even try to pull that off. Which is obviously like a huge waste of monies, but I don't know. But like, I'm not gonna. Nothing's gonna die to this. So, shoot, and I can't go down and do the pack a punch right now because I don't have my invisible thingy charged up. Oh, now here's a question: If I kill a shit ton of zombies with the stun effect that came from this gun. Do they count as kills for this gun? And does it count towards weapon XP? Or do they count as like stun kills and it doesn't go towards the weapon XP? Now, when this is pack-a-punched, it's actually pretty good. Like, low-key, like I've been leveling the pistol, specifically the 1911, but I want to level all the pistols up. I'm just working on all the guns, you know? Um, specifically within zombies. 
and when you have this like leveled up and punched like it's actually pretty good like it has a huge critical uh or headshot multiplier so it actually does a fair amount of damage this one has some odd attachment choices so that's a problem for it and obviously it's only a tier two so that's a problem but last night i was playing the game like without recording i was just playing the game and i had the pistol pretty i mean it was triple packed and i think it was purple i don't think i got it to legendary and then it just it was late i had to exfil but the um like i was slaying zombies like it's as long as you you know your aim is true and you're getting them headshots pretty strong gun may have to revise my own damn rules as we go <laughs> I mean, if the gun gets to the point where it's almost impossible to kill a zombie with it, kind of, like, don't even know what to do about the challenge then. You know what I mean? Because even this is, like, not doing a lot of damage to the boss anymore. Like, I'm getting to the point where this is not working, you know? I can't level up this gun anymore. I'm not allowed to. The pistol's obviously not going to do jack diddly crap. Oh shit, do I have ammo for this? Okay, there's an insta-kill on the ground. So the pistol becomes useful again. Not super useful, but it does- Oh my god, I got a camo! I got a camo! I don't have to revise the rules yet. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, and a nuke. Okay, I'm actually getting that, because I need these guys to go away. I can't believe I got a camo. So the revision I'm thinking about, though, just so that we're, like, on the same page and I'm being perfectly honest and clear about it, is I survive one full round using the gun, right? So, like, if I get it now in round 24, that doesn't count. I have to use it all of round 25, survive a full round with the gun, and then I can switch out. Mostly, though, if it's a gun that I've already leveled. Because, like I said, the pistol's almost completely maxed out. Yeah, this thing is not really killing people anymore. It was definitely a benefit to be able to do the zombie dance party, like, when I was able to do it. But, um, it's not a bad weapon. But the weapon that I got, the fact that I can only pack it once because I didn't get a legendary. And I'm just going off of his rules. I'm not allowed to pack it unless it's legendary more than once. It's not that strong anymore. I mean, obviously, it's still killing shit, but it's just not super effective really weak against armor uh, whatever oh my god a fire sale how convenient is that we made a crawler nice oh okay this isn't terrible it's purple right we got that going for us and i've never used this pistol before which means ooh, free armor too hell yes which means it's not going to be as difficult to level or get camo for. Because I've literally never used it before. So, and it's purple. So this isn't actually that bad. We're going to we're gonna punch it. The one time that we're allowed. And then see what we can get done with it. Yeah, my editor of scale said that this pistol is actually pretty sick. We were talking about doing a pistol only challenge. But he said if we do the pistol only, we can't use the burst fire. Because it's actually pretty sick. I would argue that all the pistols are sick because at least like I've thoroughly used the 1911 and it is low key like strong as shit as long as you can land your shots and you get them them headshots going. But he said this is kind of fire. Mm, I don't know. I feel like I'm just burning ammo, honestly. I'm, I've never been a huge fan of burst pistols in Call of Duty. It's not doing anything to armor at all. It is worthless against the armor. Holy shizzle. Yeah, maybe if it was appropriately pack-a-punched. Because it is, it is doing a fair amount of damage for only being pack-a-punched once. That's one thing I like about this challenge, is that it's, you know, forcing me to use a variety of weapons. Some of which I haven't used in zombies yet. Because I've been, ten I've been, typically I've been focusing on, like, just, you know, one gun at a time. And, like, fully leveling it. Even this, though, like, it's just... I think the guns are just too weak at one pack of punch this late in the game. They're just not able to do damage to the armor guys, and it's just it's it's not great. Oh shit! Hello tree. 
Yes! Camo! Let's go! I'm gonna keep using it during the insta-kill, because it's... Oh! That's not good. That's not good. And I have no armor. And I'm almost dead. Okay. Does literally no damage to him. Literally none. Uh, running. Uh... This is super dicey, but I'm making my way to the mystery box, and I'm going to invis. The fuck? Where did I go? Oh my god! Yes! Okay, that's shitty and amazing at the same time. Oh crap, my thing's already over. Okay, I'm so slow. Okay, we got a legendary gun, so we're allowed to pack it more than once. However, it's an M60, and we already have an M60. That is both hilarious and tragic. Um, oh shit. I really didn't want to have two M60s. <laughs> uh, if I wanted to replace this, the problem that I'm going to run into is... Who knows what I'm going to get, you know what I mean? Like, I, I got a legendary gun, like, what if I don't get a legendary gun again for, like, a while, you know? It's a gamble. I'm, I'm thinking about it, though. I really am. I know it's like, oh, it's a legendary gun. I should just use it because of the challenge. But even without this being pack-a-punch, like, you can see how effective it is. I don't know, guys. God. I was so excited to see it was a, that a legendary weapon was spit out. But then to see that it's a gun that I already have. Like, if I hit the box, like, I have to use it. And I can. Like, I, you saw, I already got, like, a camo and stuff for it. Like, I, I think I got a camo and I leveled it. So, I can technically hit the box again. You know what? I, I'm just so slow. That's my biggest fear, is I'm so slow. It takes me so long to get around with this M60. And I really like the idea of being able to switch to a faster mobility weapon. Doing it. Okay, well, it's a better XM4. Yeah, I can't. It's not legendary, but at least this has better mobility. There's still bosses, by the way. <laughs> so I hope you guys remember that. Okay, so I'm gonna have to either level this or get camo for it. And I was using it earlier, so that might be a problem. Hello. Oh, I just don't know. Oh, man. It's, yeah. Literally not going to kill anybody with this. Look at look at the headshot multiplier. I'm only doing 243 damage. Okay, maybe if I punch it because it's purple, even though I can only punch it once, it'll be good enough to at least kill something. Because 243 is no damage. It'll take me two magazines per zombie at that point. Let's see what it is now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, 502, so it's like almost double. That's still really low. 502. I mean, at least it's a 70 round mag, too. I guess that helps. Oh, God. Had to do it. There's my one chopper gunner. No shot, no shot. Oh, what the f Where did he come from? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Well, there goes, there goes that. Oh, interesting. I don't have this pistol anymore, but because it was the last pistol I was using, like, I have this pistol again for when I'm dying. That's super interesting, actually. I never, like, paid attention to that. 
Okay, I'm gonna survive through this round. And if I do, I'm allowing myself to replace the gun. I'm gonna go by the if you survive a full round rule because it's literally not hurting anybody. And I just don't know that. I, neither of these guns are really hurting anybody. So if I survive this round, it would be a miracle anyway. I've said so in the past, but anytime I'm doing a challenge like this, if I survive round 30, meaning if I get to the end of this round, I feel pretty good about the challenge. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. At least it's a different LMG. I just need something that I can kill things with. I love the Stoner 63, so whatever. Let's go. Oh my god, that's... I don't know why I even tried that. That's kind of too anything. Shit, I forgot I teleport. It's triple packed, baby. I couldn't get a weapon mod yet, but whatever. Let's go. Doesn't have my preferred attachment, some slow shit, but we're gonna make this work. Yeah, this gun, by the way, is already max level and max camo. I have the gold camo for it, so <laughs> if I wanted to switch it, I think I should just be free to switch it whenever the hell I choose to. Just putting that out there. Obviously, I triple packed it, so that's not something I would do anytime soon, but. A lot of times in these challenge videos, I try to do the the 31 extraction as a completion to it. I gotta be honest though, I don't think I can survive much longer. I know he said I can only use one kill streak, which I don't count self revive as a kill streak. Obviously, that's like a support item, but I'm gonna count that as well. If I find one, I'll pick it up, but I'm not gonna craft one. Like obviously, you you start the game with one. I'm gonna kind of just consider that my one. And say that I'm not going to give myself another one. I could craft monkeys. That's probably something that would have been super helpful. I mean, because my other gun is basically worthless. Like, I'm not using this. I guess if I was really desperate, I could use this. Like, if I just couldn't get to an ammo box and I was completely out of ammo. But, like, look at this. Other than the occasional shock damage, I guess. Since it's independently recharging, but... This kills zombies. <laughs> oh god, hello. Fuck, lost... Oh my god, that was almost the end of the video right there. That's one thing I really like about zombies, is like how quickly your health depletes sometimes. Like, you just don't even realize it's happening, and then you're just like, holy crap, I literally have no armor, <laughs> or no health, or anything. I have no anything. Like, it just goes away so fast, and it just really can catch you off guard. But I have tons of materials, so we're gonna just... Oh, god, probably shouldn't have gone that way. Probably shouldn't have gone this way. Okay, okay. Kind of makes me sad, though, because I have this gun max leveled and gold camo. I'd rather... Like, one thing I said earlier, like, I really like about this challenge is that I'm trying guns I've never used before. I think if I saved up enough money to triple pack another gun, I would try the box again. But, obviously, it's a ginormous gamble. Well, double points. That would actually be really helpful if I decided I wanted to switch this gun out just for funsies. Oh my god, I have 22 bullets. Okay. No bullets. What? Oh my god, I literally... I didn't have a charge. Okay. I thought... Either I didn't have a charge or I hit the wrong button because I knew there was going to be zombies ahead of me. So I was like, ah, like that sucks, but I'll just invis through them. I don't know what went wrong there. I'll have to review the footage, but okay. Well, you know what? Like I said before, as long as I can survive through round 30 on a challenge, I feel like mission accomplished. We survived through round 31 to round 32. That was definitely really hard. Some of those weapons definitely threw a loop for me. And I think adding the challenge of not being allowed to get rid of a gun unless you use it for a sufficient amount of time, like survive a full round with the gun or to the point where you, you know, level it or get a camo, something, something has to happen with that gun before you're allowed to switch it out. 
because being stuck with the pistol and a couple of the other weapons, uh, definitely, we got two pistols. <laughs> uh, that, that definitely made it uh, more challenging, and I really appreciate it. So again, uh, thanks to Sky for submitting that. If you want to submit a challenge yourself, just uh, like the video, comment below, let me know what you'd like to see me do, and we'll get into it. Also, any of these challenges that we're doing, don't be surprised if you see it get recycled, and we also do it in co-op with scale. Um, some of these challenges are, I think, geared more towards co-op or more towards solo, but some of them I think can go both ways, and uh, I think I'd like to try this one again, but with scale. So we'll we'll see if we can get that done for you soon. Thanks again, everybody. I appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell icon so you get all those latest notifications. And I will see everybody next time.